Raylene Brown and my business is Kungas Can Cook um, and we're based here in Alice Springs. So we're not just a cafe, we're a, um, a catering business and also we do um, tourism and we do talks about bush food, really about um, the bush foods industry in the Central Desert region. All my life I've been around bush foods and for me, never thinking in the future that I'd have a business that's based around something I learnt all of my life, those skills around identifying plants and eating those plants. And when I first started the business, I spoke to some local chefs in town and I talked about introducing bush foods into the menu. It's beautiful food, it's nutritious, it's what our, what our ancestors have survived on for many thousands of years. So sourcing food locally is a great way to go. Other countries are doing that and really respecting their own food history. I think it's really exciting that we here have um, right at our doorstep these beautiful new spices that I'm sure that many chefs across the world would be so interested in engaging with or trying. Buddha. My name is Dia Nala Mack and I'm part of the Arunu tribe here in Central Australia. My business is Cultural Connections NT and um, I provide some cultural tools and cultural conversations out at Stanley Chasm to our people and we call it Angula Apaja. Yeah, if you're getting over here um, into Central Australia, there's a few places that you can find out a little bit more about our people. My business is one of them. It's a lot of bush food products, uh, locally harvested from our women on the ground who are in the communities trying to create that, you know, economic development for our people out on land, doing the things that their ancestors did for many thousands of years. Um, you can go and get some, you know, wattle seed dukkha, uh, kwandong jam, bush tomato relish. Get that taste test.